Hi, I'm Nutur um, from the Saudi Diabetes Foundation and today I'm going to talk to you about how to apply the tracking CGM. So you guys have been hearing that there are lots of new CGMs in the market now. There are some that have been pulled out of the market. There have been a bunch of CGMs that have uh, been added into the mix and um, we've been covering a lot of these CGMs. We've been doing reviews and tutorials and blogs on all of these CGMs and today I'm going to show you um, what the tracky looks like. So this box right here um, is the sensor box. You get two boxes when you order a tracky CGM and this is the transmitter box. Um, so the pricing for the tracky very quickly because that's something that a lot of people actually seem to know quite obviously because the out of pocket cost for people studying with diabetes is as you know pretty exponentially. So this box here, the sensor, costs about uh, 3,899 rupees um, and if you buy the, uh, the transmitter and the sensor together, I believe it costs about 5,249 um, rupees. So as part of the box, um, the transmitter box, there are three things that you get inside that box. Okay, um, so this is the user manual, which is a pretty simple and straightforward thing. And then there is a charging cable, and I'll, and I'll tell you in a moment just why you need it. And then there's some, there's this charging unit, okay? And this unit, it, it holds your transmitter. So this is the transmitter that will sit on top of your sensor. And I, and I haven't applied the sensor yet. I'm about to show you how to apply the sensor. But this is the transmitter that goes on top of it. It's going to come out of this charging unit. And this charging unit here has a USB-C uh, facility, which means you can use any USB-C wire or you can use charging cable as well. Um, the, your transmitter needs to be fully charged um, before you apply it on your sensor. So now let's open the sensor box and see what the sensor looks like. So the tracky CGN, um, which has been newly launched, uh, it gives you readings every three minutes. Now, if you do the math, you know that readings every three minutes are about 500 readings or 480 to be more precise um, in the whole day. I'm going to put this is what I got inside the inside the center box. I'm going to open it up. I'm never very good with opening packages, but there's a little ridge here which makes it easy. So open this up. And uh, oh, and by the way, in case anyone's wondering, um, the sensors work on Bluetooth, so that means that um, all the hassle of having an NFC phone does not come up uh, for a CGM because uh, it, it works, uh, it communicates with your phone and with the mobile app via Bluetooth. Another interesting thing that you should watch out for is uh, we have some cool integration uh, with the Blue Circle Diabetes app. Um, so, but more about, more about all of that in upcoming videos and vlogs. But in the meanwhile, this is what the sensor looks like. Now this looks pretty big, but uh, this is the applicator. This isn't the sensor. And I'll show you the sensor. It's uh, it's pretty small. And this is the back of the packet. There's a QR code at the back that you're going to need. So don't throw this packet right away. Let me open it and show it to you. Alright. So... So this is my applicator. It's, you see it's got a lock button here. The um, orange thing is a lock button. These gray buttons on the side um, are the buttons that you will use to press when you want to apply it on your arm. All right, uh, I'm gonna remove my transmitter from this charging unit. That's my transmitter, this is the back of it. This is the front of it. My transmitter is fully charged. And now, um, this is this little tape on here that you need to peel off. I'm going to peel this off. And then I'm going to peel the other side off. Always a little bit clumsy, but... Okay, here I go. So I'm ready now. You can see this is ready to apply. Um, and then I'm going to just... Well, here's my arm. And I'm ready to apply it right here. So I'm going to place it right here because this is the location um, that I find most convenient for me at the moment. And then I'm going to unlock it 
and the way I'm going to unlock it is by moving this orange. Okay, so I've moved the orange button. Um, so now I'm going to use the gray buttons on either side of the applicator to basically inject the sensor into my arm. So one, two, three, and here you go. So hopefully I have injected it correctly and then I remove the applicator. And this applicator goes into the trash. And this is what the sensor looks like. So you can see it is now stuck on my arm. All right. And then you take your uh, transmitter and you basically need to match this on onto uh, you know the gap on the transmitter. Plug it in, plug it in like that, and then slide it to lock it. So that's it. It only takes a few minutes, and my sensor is now ready. I can see it on my arm. What you see on top of my arm is actually the transmitter, and the sensor is the is the thing below it that is stuck to my to my arm. And, uh, so now that we've um, successfully applied the tracky sensor, uh, which is quick and simple, the next step is going to be to activate the sensor because you guys know every sensor that you apply needs to be activated as well for the readings to start coming in. Um, so I'm going to now show you how to activate the sensor. So here's how I got to this screen on my tracky health app. Download the app from the app store or the play store and then allow Bluetooth and notification permissions. Choose new account and verify your mobile with an OTP. Fill in your profile, all of the details that they ask for, set your time and range um, and also allow it location access. That's it. And then you land on this screen. Now I'm going to press get started and it says um, you need to set up your tracky. All right, continue. You can see the video if you wish. You can see there are four things on the top setup, connect, scan and final. So I'm going to go ahead um, and I'm going to say connect and I'm going to say okay for scanning the QR code. All right, so now I've scanned the QR code and it tells me to move to the next step. Where do you want to place your sensor? I have already worn it on my arm and then it says continue. This is something I've already done. It tells you how to apply the sensor. And then it seems like my sensor is now going to be ready in the next hour. So that's how simple it is. And my sensor is going to be activated in 60 minutes.